Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you begin this procedure, first make sure the engine has cooled. Next, you should remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting and close the fuel valve. Now use a 5 16th inch socket to remove the mounting screws, securing the air filter cover. Pull the cover and filter off. Place the choke lever in the choke position, then pull the lever up to remove. Next, detach the breather tube from the filter housing. Now use a 10 millimeter socket to remove the mounting nuts securing the housing. Pull the housing off of the mounting posts and move it out of the way. Release the clamp securing the fuel line to the carburetor and pull the fuel line off. Be prepared for some fuel to spill. Remove the air filter housing gasket. Then use an E5 external Torx bit to unthread the mounting post securing the carburetor. Detach the throttle linkage and spring to completely remove the carburetor. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screws, securing the carburetor bowl. Pull the bowl off. Use pliers to remove the float pin. Remove the float and needle. Lift off the fuel transfer tube and remove the gaskets. Before you install the new carburetor components, clean the carburetor thoroughly. Now position the new gaskets on the fuel transfer tube. Align the carburetor on the tube. Hook the new needle on the float. Realign the float and insert the new pin to secure. Reposition the bowl and secure it with the screws. Use pliers to pull out the choke plate and remove the choke shaft. Remove the old choke seal from the shaft and slide on the new one. Reposition the shaft. Then insert the choke plate and snap it into place. Next, use a small Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screws, securing the throttle plate Remove the plate and pull out the throttle shaft.
remove the old throttle seal, and slide on the new one. Reposition the shaft and insert the throttle plate. Replace the screws to secure the plate. Now remove the old idle adjustment screw to release the tension spring. Slide the new tension spring onto the new adjustment screw and thread the screw into the carburetor. If necessary, adjust the idle setting to manufacturer's specifications. Reinstall the carburetor by first reconnecting the throttle linkage and spring. Now insert the mounting post into the carburetor and slide on the new spacer gaskets along with the existing spacer. Thread the mounting post into the intake manifold and tighten with the E5 external Torx bit. Attach the fuel line to the carburetor and secure it with the retaining clamp. Slide the new air filter housing gasket onto the mounting posts. Realign the air filter housing. And replace the mounting nuts to secure. Reattach the breather tube to the filter housing. Make sure the choke shaft is in the choke position, then push the choke lever into place. Reposition the air filter and cover. Rethread the mounting screws to secure. Open the fuel valve, reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug, and the engine should be ready for use.